Somebody got the hard fuel depot. Beautiful. I saw Ruan Boost five minutes ago. I thought that was a long way off. Ooh, I got me a 109 right for the end time. Nice. Fair. Uh, we were way up high over uh, Pocknor or whatever you call it. Uh, friendly. Talking about Pocknor Skate. Yeah, it starts with a P. It's, uh, in, it's over to the uh, north of. Boom! See, he just went in. Nice. I see you just got one. How high are you? I'm spiraling down now. I'm going to put it in the hangar. I was real high. He didn't see me. I, I couldn't believe he didn't see me. But the, I guess the sun was blocking me. And uh, I just eased up right behind him and let him have it. And he tried to fight back a little bit, but I had to straighten him out. Something might be diving on a car pole. Oh yeah, AK three, one tens. Down low around Capon. Staffers coming into crap on on fumes. I'm never done that way.
made it. Hey guys, knock on comms. Hey, hey how's it going? No. No. Not bad, man. Map's about to uh, rotate. Ah, uh, okay. I got an hour and ten minutes left. Yeah, that's what I got. I think it check that again. Should be a little over an hour. Oh, right. yeah, sure now. Sorry Should about that. Fidget. Uh, fidget, what's your target, old chap? Uh, fidget's attacking uh, the Nazi ships. Okay. Gonna take a break, chaps. See you later, Slap. Yeah, I feel a bit. Point traffic, uh, Lenham Fidget is approaching for landing from the uh, from the channel. Can you give me an update on uh, traffic? Oh, you got it, yeah, guys. Thank you, sir. Just what I wanted to hear. Propel traffic, Plenum Fidget reporting the beach for landing uh, opposite direction to the uh, to the north. Runway looks clear. You always make it easy. Fidget gear down, we'll stop. If you don't get run over by a spit. 
don't want to get spit on by a spit, do I? <laughs> no. Crippon traffic, the runway's clear. Thank you for the support. Anytime. Air Raid, Carpy K. Yeah, it's the one I'm nine driving in from the uh, west. Head that way. Okay, traffic, let him fidget. He's taken off to the east now. Guys, not back again. Just had my morning blue screen of death. Oh no! <laughs> I'm getting tired of this. Are you overclocking? No, no. I don't know what it is. I'm, I'm pinning it down, but there's just something. There's a certain program I run in the evenings, and if I don't do a a, a proper shutdown and restart uh, after that, it, it yeah it tends to cause lockup somewhere. I have a freeware program that you may download. Uh, it's called uh, Blue Screen View, and it will. Uh, it's very simple, and it will analyze your uh, your blue screens and tell you exactly what driver, whatever, whatever went wrong to, to cause the problem. Very good for diagnosis. Sweet. Awesome. Awesome. What's the What was it called? Blue Screen View. Blue Screen View. I'm just writing that down. I'll. I'll Google that and find it. Awesome. Yeah, I'm sure you'll be able to stick that into Google and it'll come up. They have a web page. They're also on the, you know, the freeware sites. Yeah, sensational. I'll do that. Looks like action out toward Pumeto.
I just had one on my six. He almost had me, but he crashed. That's always good That's to always, see. Yeah. I just saw a UFO. That was a good hit, Fidget. Thank you very much. I can't see. Uh, I appreciate that report. There was a UFO down on the deck. It was flashing like a canopy glare, moving, moving fast. And uh, I zoomed in on it. And it was didn't see anything. Yeah, that one didn't work. It's funny. It sounded great. Looked great. Sometimes they just don't hit it just right. Another good hit. Alright, so there's one left. I can't remember if I dropped three or if I dropped four. So I guess he has to ask himself one question. Does he feel lucky? <laughs> <laughs> I think you got three hits and one miss, but go ahead and try it again. Everything's clear. Might as well give it a shot. Seeing as how this is a 250 pound bomb and will blow his head clean off. With one shot. Uh-oh, okay, that's a friendly plane.
Oh, major furball, just feet wet, uh, just to the east of Crepon at about 5,000. Dirty fidget and brass knuckles. Yeah, this is funny business. If you don't scare yourself, you're not in close enough with these things. Okay, Fitton's RTB right home. Yeah, I see that furball. I think I'm going to get a piece of it. I'm about out of gas, though. So. Where's that located? Uh, Just east gonna... of Crepon. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll avoid Crepon then and uh, make my way back to uh, Harvey K. No, you'd be safer taking Crepon. It's it's more uh, far up the river. Watch out, there's two G-50s in a bunch. Okay, great. I'll go to Crepon then. Thanks for the report. There's two G-50s, so I'll check if it's Hurricane or G-50. Yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll come to Crippon, make left traffic, and land in the proper direction this time. Come, come in from the west. I'm um, uh, dragging a G50 to the airfield, by the way. I'm just feet wet, crossing over to yeah, the coast now. Yeah, now. He's already uh, losing fuel. Okay, with the G50 in tow, uh, what is your position, please, sir? Uh, just east of the airfield, but somebody's on him now. He's got other problems. Yeah, all I see is a sky full of spits over here. Yeah, uh, same. He, he's broken off the chase, I'm now diving on him. There's a 109 also. Roger. G50 Tally just went in. One oh nine is streaming, moving his image, look towards uh, Con. Now he's coming out towards the ocean now. Uh, is the airfield safe to land right now? Or? Safe to land where? Crap yeah, there's no flak at the airfield. Yeah, Kerpon safe. I would say that 109's in deep trouble. There's four of us on his tail. <laughs> Kerpon traffic, uh, Blenheim Fidget just came ashore to the west for landing with traffic. Are you in the landing circuit or...? Yeah, I'll just make a left base and, uh, and land from, uh, from the base turn. Right. By the way, I uh, shot down a 110 just earlier at Crap Hall and his fuselage would uh, not explode and it just bounced around on the uh, surface. It was kind of weird and it did not despawn or at least I didn't get a kill message for it. 
Propound traffic, a platinum fidget left base, gear down, full stop. Uh, dive landing south to north. Kropon damaged aircraft, so watch out. <laughs> uh, sirens going. Where? At Kropon. There's a U88 right over the airfield at maybe 100 meters going north towards the coast. Yep, I see him. I'm on him. Gunner's firing just now. He's going to be in big trouble. He dropped bombs, so watch out. Yep, he did. Dropped a bunch. Yeah. Well, it just went off. I'm being shot at by a 110. Oh, come on. What a, what an idiot. He rammed me on the ground. Oh, there's a 110 now at 100 meters north of the airfield. Roger. All right, carbon gate traffic. Blenheim Fidge is taken off to the north across the grass. Major <laughs> big explosion at Carpicon. One tenth turning back toward uh, Crepon. Hundred meters. Uh, which course is he flying south or? Yeah, flying south toward the airfield. Right, he's just banking the left. He's banking the left now. No, he's banking right again. He's heading for the airfield. He actually rammed me while I was sitting on the ground and I exploded and I, he didn't take any damage whatsoever. Oh, I hate that. Oh, I see him. He's got two spits on him. I think maybe German engineering, yeah? Yeah. The Volkswagen <laughs> wings. I killed the gunner and the gunner is still firing. What the fuck is going on? An undead gunner. He shouldn't be fired now because he just crashed. Oh, was that him who went in? Yeah. Cool. Don't you know we're shooting zombie Germans? They're uh, here to head shoot them. Oh, hey. <laughs> I'm in trouble then. Sky is clear again. Oh, no, 
I might be mistaken, a C trip lane northeast of the A field at the coast. If you look at the river that goes inland from the coast, right there there's um there's some AAA firing, some heavy flag. Roger. Heading that way. Till now I only see spiddies flying around. Yeah, uh, triple A's maybe uh five thousand meters high. Yeah, I see your flag. There's a 109. There's a 109 uh, northeast of the airfield. He's just turning towards the airfield, diving down now, going southwest. Roger, somebody, well done. Somebody's already diving on him, I think. Blenheim Fidget is coasting out just north of Carpentier oh, right the 109. now. Uh, he's behind a spitty, watch out. And I flamed him. Oh, well done. Way to go. Yeah, he's dead. Nice shoot. He's going down. <laughs> well done. Oh, that Spitfire pilot did not take any notice whatsoever of his uh, friend on his six. Alright, I might just go and land and get a fresh plane. And he's down. Uh, by the way, uh, does anybody know which one, which rubber paddles are better, CH, Pro paddles or the Cytex? Cytec Pro Combat are pretty hard to beat, I know that. Okay, because I've been hearing stories of them being pretty fragile. The customer service is superb, and uh, I had my first ones went two years, and uh, because of abuse, they had a spring inside that let go, but it's easily, easily repaired. I've heard some of the same stories, but I don't know if they're any less durable than the other ones. Okay, because I have CH Pro paddles, but they are pretty old. I picked them up second hand from a squadron mate. And I mean, they are indestructible. You know, I think if you threw them out the window, they would still work. But yeah, they are not as precise anymore as they used to. Yeah, but the internals on the CH Pro, they can uh, they can wear out. I've had that was what I had the very first time, and they did wear out. They and they started just. Uh, getting mechanically loose and they were imprecise. That won't happen with the Cytex because it has to do with the electronic sensors they use as hall sensors. Yeah, my CH, they were about 10 years old before I finally checked them because they were just getting them. 10 years I think is pretty dang good. I've got the Cytex now and I like them. Yeah, it really, it really, I, I think you got a good point because it depends how you use them. If you, if you were using them to do race car stuff, I could see you beating the heck out of them and maybe breaking them, but uh, for aviation, I, I can't see you abusing the rudder pedal. Uh, if you are, maybe you ought to work on your rudder technique. Right. Uh, I think we have 109 here again now, n northeast of Crapaw. He's now diving in behind a Spitfire that's diving as well. They're pretty high up. Triple A is firing like crazy. By the way, is there any sense in lubricating uh, rudder panels? Or is it just a no-brainer? I did. I lubricated my CH, but like I said, I had them for 10 years, so about once a year I'd go in and just touch them up a little bit, clean them up, <laughs> clean the pots up. Roger, because the, the control travel on CH is, uh, uh, it feels kind of sticky. Yeah, there's a special kind of plastic uh, grease that you should use on those things as well. Well, silicone, uh, silicone spray, isn't it? Silicone uh, grease is good. 
silicon grease, which is just like a clear-looking stuff. Yeah, I always I've got, find a, I've got a few bottles stuff. of cockpit spray for the car, which is actually silicon spray, and I use that to lubricate my joystick every few months. Works quite well. Yeah, your your petroleum products like Vaseline can break down plastic. Uh, 109 is still over the river, over east of the airfield, Crepon, at uh, considerable altitude, I think at least uh, 15,000. Well, Fidget, that wasn't any good. No. What did you hit? I hit the stack. Did I hit the ship? Oh god, I didn't hit the ship either. Ah, oh, that was ignorant. That was just pressing too hard. That's right, I'm not mad. Okay, get yourself another blunt. I'm going to finish this guy off and get the objective. I have to go watch the Washington National Washington National The 109 is diving on two Spitfires uh, over water. So he's zooming up again. Okay, I'm at Good. twelve thousand feet, and he must be at at least fifteen thousand at the least. Bidget, bid you all adieu. Cheers, cheers. Uh, there's two Spitfires over the clouds. They're go they're getting company just now. How's it going, gentlemen? Hey, Solax. Hi. I'm, I'm awake enough now to uh, fly, I think. Just getting too tired here. Uh, 109 is still here between 15 and 20. Being bracketed by AAA. Yeah, those uh, afternoon naps will do you in. I just took off, uh, I got a 2A, took off from across the uh, channel. Out of 109, it's having 6 o'clock now. You may circle back around. Uh, I'm here, I'm here for fun in a 2A. Uh, okay. Yeah, we uh, refuel. I've been kind of flying around observing a bit for all we could. I think it all the gears lubricated. Or, I'll tell you what, here I'll spawn a season and uh, go with it. I'm sorry, I can't understand you. It's just kind of... No, I'll spawn at uh, Deville and then uh, tag along with you. Alright, I'll circle back. Uh, the 109 is now running. By the way, I hit him slightly. He doesn't seem to have taken any serious damage. He's now east of Crab Paul. Probably more like around Plume at 2 feet wet. Up 
Man, Gunny, that was a uh, that was a lot of fun last night at the uh, harbor. <laughs> yeah. So you're at Bembridge? No, I'm at uh, Seville. I just popped in. You're where? Uh, Seville, Belleville. Oh. Can you get a two A there? Uh, yeah. Oh. I'm all the way across the pond. Oh, can you get a 2A at Bimber? Yeah. Oh. No worries. Maybe. All right, I'm at Bimber. It's a pretty cool place to launch from. I've kind of forgotten about it. All right, warming up at Bembridge. Roger. So we're all a lot of the balloons launch from it. So I think it's a long way from Bembridge across to Crepon and and that. But, uh, but what the heck? I'm not sure how long there is left in the mission, chaps. I think 45 minutes to an hour, I think. Yeah. Anyone else lining up for a hit on La Habra? I'm just approaching the bay at about uh, 13,000. Yeah, heading that way. Uh, Angel's 11. It'll be a few, but we could all meet there. Yeah, I'm left hand. Maybe get one more thousand. good uh, Lahar run for the map rotation. Yeah, why not? Alright, rolling big bridge. There you are. Is that other pilot coming? Ah, uh, yeah, I think so. Anybody else launching uh, Bembridge? Oh, I thought he was. Let's just head south then. Right to that. Ah, you gotta be kidding. What? Ah, forgot to uh, open my oh. rads. All right. Keep on going if you want, man. I don't need for you to wait. Now nah, wait. Maybe, uh, maybe I'm not awake yet. Spitfire would so much deserve an ammo counter. I mean, even even the G50 has an ammo counter. I mean, it's kind of funny. I use one. Uh, it's, it's your residual belt, and you get about 20 little bursts.
The yeah, problem is that that pretty much tells you enemy as well that you're about to run out. <laughs> You've got about 14 seconds, so I just count them off in the head. I see four, uh, four contacts north, northeast of Crepon, feet wet, altitude uh, 5,000 feet. Looks like a dogfight. at five contacts. Alright, radiator check. Well, I'm at about 12,000 over the bay off La Havre, just waiting for anyone else who wants to join me for an attack. Yeah, uh, septic sound. You ready to go in? Yeah, Roger. Let's hit him. Don't see any down there. Yeah, I'll get down there and see what's there. Well, there's a couple of dots. Crop on, gap in a spit, taking off east. Well, this is a nice base over here. It's big old bombers and stuff. Well, yeah, for is, some reason, it? I turned this thing over. I think I'm right in the middle of the uh, runway, too. That's nice. Yes, what? Two taking off on the runway. Three. Roger. Oh, holy shit, that was close. Almost rammed one Spitfire here, shooting at a one line. <laughs> Radiator up. <laughs> yeah. Rolling in on a one ten. Roger, I'm gonna chase this one oh nine that's going high. Uh to G fifty. Alright, feed wet. I think we head uh, towards the sun or slightly left, I'll put us on a good course. Okay. There's a navigator when you need one. Gunny, uh, you seen that uh, guy we flew with the other night? I haven't seen him now.
Does anybody have any visuals about the dogfight going on? There's all kind of junk on the runway here at Krapong. Yeah, I think the... Well, there's plenty of dogfight going on at La Habra. I uh, got shot down over there. Just warming up a new plane. Yeah, I don't uh -oh. have any. I don't have too much fuel left. I think I'm just going to fly about here at Pluto. Have uh, any of you guys uh, tried that setting that supposedly renders the clouds further? Oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't understand what you said. No, I was reading some. There's some setting that'll render the clouds further so they don't. Yeah, pop you have to edit your config any for that. Ah, okay. There is no in-game setting for that. I think it's all detailed in a README. Mm -hmm. Yeah, copy that. That was a bad takeoff. <laughs> a lot of us are having trouble taking off here at Car Pump for some reason. The wind. Yeah, some, sometimes I have trouble finding the runway. I think that's uh, Steve Gunny, right off to our uh, right. Yeah, Roger. And it looks good.
Siren is going at Crapon. 